virtual learning. Hello, good day, my dear students, and welcome to Al Noor Virtual Learning. I'm Mr. Calvin, and welcome back to our math class. We are now in topic 13, lesson 4. It's about volume with fractional edge lengths. By the way, this lesson can be found on your textbook pages 725 to 730. And here's the objective of our today's lesson. The objective is to find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. And here are the materials needed. Your math textbook, your pencil or pen, and the paper for solving. Now let's get started. So, the volume of a rectangular prism is the number of cubic units needed to fill the prism. And here's a short video clip on how to find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge length. How can you find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge length? Think about this question during the lesson. What is the volume of the rectangular prism? Remember that volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill a solid figure. Why can't you use one inch cubes to find the volume of the prism? What size cubes can be used to fill the prism? You can't use one inch cubes to find the volume of the prism because the edge lengths are not whole numbers. You can use cubes with one half inch edge lengths to fill the prism. Step one, find the number of one half inch cubes that will fill the rectangular prism. Five one-half-inch cubes fit along each two-and-one-half-inch edge of the prism. So the bottom layer has five times five, or 25 cubes. The prism is three cubes high, so there are 25 times three, or 75 cubes in the prism. Step two. Find the volume of each smaller one half inch cube by using it to fill a unit cube. There are four smaller cubes on the bottom layer of the unit cube, and the unit cube is two smaller cubes high. How many smaller cubes fill the unit cube? Select your answer. There are four times two or eight smaller cubes in the unit cube. So each one half inch cube has one eighth the volume of a unit cube or one eighth times one cubic inch equals one eighth of a cubic inch. Step three, find the volume of the prism. Multiply the volume of each one half inch cube by the total number of cubes that fill the prism. The volume of the rectangular prism is nine and three eighths cubic inches. Be precise and use the correct units to describe area and volume. Now you know how you can find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. Okay, there you have it, my dear students. So this time, let me ask you this question. So what is the difference between the units of measure used for volume and those used for surface area? Can you guess for the answer? Okay, so 
Cubic units measure volume which take into account the length, the width, and the height of a figure. While for square units, it measures surface area which take into account the length and the width of the faces of a figure. Now, here's another video for further understanding of the lesson. To find the volume of this rectangular prism, we need to find the number of cubic units needed to fill it. Since the prism has measurements that are in thirds, we'll find the number of one-third inch cubes that will fill the prism. Seven one-third inch cubes fit along the two and one-third inch edge. Thirteen one-third inch cubes fit along the four and one-third inch edge. And four one-third inch cubes fit along the one and one-third inch edge. To find the number of one-third inch cubes in the prism, multiply seven by 13 by four. There are 364 cubes in the prism, but those are one-third inch cubes. Using one-third inch cubes, it takes three by three across the bottom and three up to fill a one inch cube. It takes 27 one-third inch cubes to fill a one inch cube. So we multiply the total number of one-third inch cubes it took to fill the prism by the volume of each one-third inch cube, 127, which equals 364 over 27. That gives us 13 and 13 twenty-sevenths cubic inches for the volume of the rectangular prism. This time, open your textbook on page 727 and let's have the guided practice. In question number one, it says, How is finding the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths similar to finding the volume of a rectangular prism with full number of edge lengths? So the answer is simply because the formulas are the same. We have V equals L times W times H or V equals V times H. So V stands for the volume, L for the length, W for the width, and H for the height. Now let's have given number two. So it says explain how finding the number of one half inch cubes in a rectangular prism helps to find the number of unit cubes in a rectangular prism. And the answer is you can divide the number of one half inch cubes that fill a rectangular prism by eight. Why by eight? Simply because there are eight one half inch cubes in one unit cube. Now let's have question numbers three and four. Tell how many of each size cube can fill a one inch cube. So for given number three, if the edge is one third inch, then the answer is. 27 and for given number 4 if edge equals 1 fourth inch then the answer is 64 now for given numbers 5 and 6 find the volume of each rectangular prism and show your work so for given number 5 using the formula we have length times width times height so we have the given length 1 and 1 half the given width is 1 and 1 half and the given height is also 1 and 1 half. First, let's change them into improper. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3 and 1 half and this 3 and 1 half will be 3 10 3 times because as you can see, the given are just the same. So it will be 3 and 1, 3 and halves times 3 halves times 3 halves after multiplying 3 for 3 times then it will be 27 and after multiplying 2 price so it will be 8 so 27 over 8 when you divide it you will get 3 and 3 8 cubic inches 
for given number 6. The length is 14.8, the width is 4.5, and the height is 3.5. Right? So after multiplying the 3, you will get what? If you're saying 233.1 cubic meters, then your answer is correct. Now, let's have independent practice. So in set number 7 to 10, all you have to do is to find the volume of each rectangular prism. So using the formula, for given number 7, we have V equals L times W times H. So the length is 2 and 1 half, the width is 3, and the height is 1 and 1 half. Right? So after multiplying the 3, so first 2 and 1 half, when you change it to improper, it will be 5 halves times 3. And then 1 and 1 half, when you change to improper, it will then be 3 halves. Multiply 5, all the numerators, 5 times 3. As you can see, 3 is a whole number. You can write 3 over 1 or you can just write 3. So 5 times 3 is 15 times 3. You will get 45. Then multiply the given denominator. We have 2 and 2. So... 2 times 2 is 4, so you have 45 over 4. When changed to mix, it will be, because you have to divide it, because it's an improper fraction, so you will get 11 and 1 fourth cubic inches. For given number 8, using the same formula, V equals L times W times H. The length is 2, the width is 1 and 2 third, and the height is 5 and 1 third. So, 2 times 1 and 2 thirds will then be 5 thirds. And 5 and 1 third will then be 16 thirds. So, multiply 2 times 5 times 16 and you will get 160. Then multiply the denominators 3 and 3, you will get 9. So, 160 divided by 9 will result to 17 and 7 over 9 cubic yards. Okay, that's two numbers. For given number 9, we have the length, which is 6.5, the width, which is 4, and the height, which is 1.2. After multiplying these three given, then you will get 31.2 cubic meters. Now, last but not the least, given number 10, same thing, use the formula, volume equals length times v times height here the length is 0 0.7 the width is 0 0.9 and the height is 2.4 after multiplying these three given what is the result if you're saying it's 1.512 cubic meters then you are correct okay so i hope you learned something from today's lesson so before i end let me just leave you the quote of the day, which says, The harder you work for something, the greater you'll feel when you achieve it. So that would be all for today. Thank you for listening and have a great day.